gentlemen, how are you? It's M. Benz. Happy Wednesday. What's Wednesdays for? Wednesdays are for women. Women. Because why? Because I want it to be and I'm a woman and I can do what I want. Women Wednesday. It's my channel. Just kidding. It's Women Wednesday. It's Wednesday. Hump Day. Uh, wish a mother truck a wood day. But today I want to talk about the internet streets and social media and the dynamic that goes on in this in this metaverse of like negativity and bs so it's been a minute since i've done a vlog i'm going to probably post a snippet of this or this on ig as well um, as youtube since people tend to watch my stuff there more than even on youtube but i want to be able to post it everywhere so we're gonna just hit all the boxes with one swoop with youtube so the internet is full of haters, hatred, putridness, negativity, bullshit, clickbait, lies. That's why my views are low. So listen, if I wanted to be famous, if that was my goal and that's all I cared about, if I needed that, I'd have been done that. That is the easy way to do things. Trust me. I know the game. I've been in this shit for years. It made me an animal, okay? Like, for real. But I decided to become a unicorn slash lioness. But I'm out here watching people maneuver. And it's just crazy how people do anything for attention. And so my main thing is like, all right, if we're doing all this shit for attention, what's going on internally? Like, for real. This is dead serious. Like, like, you know, it's funny to crack jokes and like, you know, if you're on a, like, let's say somebody you know's page and you guys got some inside jokes or, you know, or if there's like a person that's, you know, well known and you kind of, they have a thing and it's like, you're keeping up with that and it's a joke and it's all in good fun. But when we are literally like throwing rocks from our glass houses online is disgusting. And you got to remember, most of you guys are parents. These aren't like, I'm not talking about the teenage realm. So I worked with the kids, you know, the youth in entertainment business for 10 years until about 2020. And then we took a break and then Mike decided, you know, we're going to do some other stuff and I'm going to get back to focusing on me um, for lots of reasons. It was just time. Divine time is how I operate. If you don't know, that's how I operate. Everything is divinely told to me and then I operate and if you don't understand you don't need to it's not for you it's okay but I was given a gift and I'm going to use it and I'm not going to abuse it and the problem is a lot of talented people have been abusing their gifts for the sake of clout money and fame and it's like dude I get it people are in situations where they need to better themselves but if you have to sell your soul not literally, but like basically you are when you're, you know, diminishing your spirit and doing things that you normally wouldn't do and acting a certain way. You're on a low vibrational frequency and you become um, trapped in that world. And in a sense, we create our own heaven and hell, right? It's real shit. We create the heaven or hell we live in. Now, money it's funny the thing about money is some people are so poor you guys all they have is fucking money imagine that money is cool i done had it i done not had it i had it again like shit like that it never has changed Jesus, this lady behind me it's never changed whether i'm a good person or not money doesn't change people you know what money does y'all money unmasks people it makes people who they really fucking are it's a tool you can use it for good and you can use it for bad you can use it for for righteousness you can use it for smut bullshit you can use it for ho shit you know what i'm saying so the bottom line is that at the end of the day What are we doing with our lives? When we're an adult with you know, our own responsibilities and we go onto the internet and we transform into these weirdos, and I'm not one of them. A lot of you are though. And I'm not, I don't have a list of names, but I see it. I, half the time I don't even know these people, but I just see the way people act. And then the, you go look at their pages and they're adults with families and shit. And not only that, like 
what possesses you to do these things? Like, what are we doing, guys? Like, this is a real question. Like, I need people to take some personal responsibility here and look in the mirror. Because you talking to crazy to people online is just a reflection of yourself. So everything we do in this world is a reflection of our inner world. Our outer world reflects our inner world. If we're overweight, if we're broke, if we're unhappy, if we're piss poor mentality, if we're piss poor morally, if we're piss poor poor, it's because of our mindset. Our mind is a muscle and it's a tool and it's a very powerful one. At, and when it's you know, trained and conditioned like any other muscle, it is a fucking great source. So when you condition your mind, right, and you train it to think things, you read books, positive books, you listen to positive music, you listen to high vibrational sounds, you don't get stuck into reality bullshit and negative dark dwelling frequencies, your whole perspective shifts and then you start living accordingly. It really is about here. It's a mind block. We're fucking ourselves by our mindsets. So when we get online and we perpetrate this bullshit, we're just fueling it. We as individuals cannot change the world for the better until we fucking look in the mirror and fix our own shit. Fix yourself first and foremost. I've done the healing. I'm always a work in progress. I'm forever a student, you guys, but I have done the work and I'm proud of myself. I've done the fucking work. And so I can sit here and tell you that doing the work works. Like it's real shit. Now, my music, I'm never going to stop making music. Music is a universal language and it doesn't have anything to do with how old you are. Unless you're a stripper who's trying to do music. I'm not a stripper who's trying to do music. So it doesn't fucking affect me. Okay. So there's that. But listen, you know, like if you're an NBA player, you know, you're not going to be able to play until you're 50 because of your phys it's physical, right? Music is not a physical sport. It's a mental sport. It comes from the soul. The soul is eternal. But when you sell your soul, your music, it fucking reflects it, bro. It reflects it. Hip hop is turning 50. Hip hop is alive. Boom bap, we back. Okay, and I heard Lloyd Banks was the quarterback. I don't know. I heard him say that. I believe it. <laughs> um, so listen, I'm, I'm, I'm telling you right now, you guys like, wake up. You're in a spell. I don't know if 2020 did a, a fucking mind program fuck on the nation, on the world, or if this was years of programming and 2020 just set the alarm off for most of you guys. But people are fucking brainwashed. Think about these people that stand out line for Taylor Swift concert tickets. Listen, I don't give a shit if anybody tries to come for me. If that's who you like, boo boo, cool. I, I, I support your like of Taylor Swift. I'm not hating on you. But I will say, Taylor Swift is not like top tier legendary musician, guys. Like just not, it's not, it's not in the fact in the realm of music, if you understood it, but you guys are programmed with stuff. Programming is real. The Donald Trump supporters program like a mofo, like a mofo. I think white people are really easy to program. Um, but no, but listen, all people, all kidding aside, because and again, I don't care who you like or what you like. Not, it's not that. It's the obsession. It's the, it's the like psychoticness of it. Standing eight hours in line for a sweatshirt, or you know, it's fine if you're a kid. You know, I understand kids that get excited. Like, but, but like when you're an adult doing shit like this, it's weird. Like these MAGA people, the you know, Capitol stuff, the January 6th thing. Like, psycho. You guys are followers. Stop being followers. Start leading. But lead your own life. Create your own world stop trying to live and, and obsess over others create your own universe and make it clean make it your own heaven make it your own peaceful you know serenity and divinity it's not that complicated so this is my message and my plea to you guys to please start taking responsibility if you need to write out affirmations put them by your mirror in the morning put them all over the house that have positive affirmations and write them and repeat them to yourself daily what we speak manifest words are spells spelling okay speak life plant life do not destroy it and do not seek destruction seek love light and 
all that is your birthright, which is divinity, and connect back to God. I'm not into religion at all because religion is another thing that makes some of y'all mofos cuckoo. Organized crime, organized religion, it's all the same. It's all man-made. Let's start connecting back to source. Get outside, touch the grass, go on hikes, sit in the sun. Vitamin D is so good for you. Start eating clean. Stop shopping at Walmart, things like that. Stop eating processed foods. Stop drinking soda. Drink bottled purified water. Make sure you're getting enough water. Um, Eat vegetables and fruits. Clean out your palate. Stop eating meat if you can. If you can get down with it, you all can. But if you, some of you think you can't. Stop doing that. Clean your body out. Clean your system out. Detoxify. Take vitamins. Speak positively of others. We get what we give. It's really simple, but we need to stop and we need to change. And this is like literally going to be a broken record. You're going to hear from me until the end of time. So start acting right, please. It's really cringy to watch adults act like little kids when they are raising children and you wonder why our world's fucked. Well, look in the mirror, buddy old pals. Look in the goddamn mirror, okay? Thanks in advance. Signing out with love and light, divinity, divine time, always on time, going prime time. My name's M. Benz. I'm God's daughter. If you didn't know who I am, you might want to check the fact checks. Also, the aliens are here too. Might have something to do with that as well. Don't fuck with me. Start listening. Get your shit right. Peace and love. Um, I'm playing, but I'm not. Peace.